Well, uh, I am who I am, and I couldn't just walk away with the project partway done, so I installed my controllers into the front of the unit, and uh, here they power on. This one should say input fail, and there we go, input fail. That means the, the, uh, the uh, thermocouple is not installed. If I hold down on the thermocouple, it should, uh, the temperature on the one on the right here should go up. There we go. Uh, as it starts to get to my body temperature. Anyways, <clears throat> I'm not going to turn any of these on because nothing's hooked up. Uh, I could, but nothing's going to happen. Um, literally, nothing happens. So, um, anyways. So, if you look very closely, you'll see that my relay is actually on. You can see the little red light there. I don't really want to put my hand in there too much though. The fan is a 110 volt fan. It pulls air into the unit. There will be a hole drilled here, or I may drill a hole in the back of the unit uh, to vent air out of the unit. Uh, the bridge rectifier is here. Underneath is the tag that says bridge rectifier, which uh, you can see my power in marker there as well, which I'm very close to that live wire. There's 220 volts. There's the ground. It is grounded to the platform, to the chassis. Um, there is the neutral, and the neutral goes to what is called the common. You can see it, uh, it says common group on the wire bundle. All my wires are marked, so if I have to take this apart, which I probably will, um, just because I would like to kind of do a how-to on the controller here and I need to mount my um, I, I do have some breakers that I want to mount up there by the ground uh, to, for the heaters. The heaters will actually have breakers inside of the unit itself. Anyways, here's my uh, Relays heat sink. It's a block of aluminum with a North Bridge chip heat sink screwed with thermal paste screwed to that block. The block is just held on with rivets. Uh, it was actually an old heat sink as well, but it was a very poorly made one, and so I just altered it to suit myself, my uh, own use. My controllers are actually mounted incorrectly. The um, clips that hold the controllers together are what is holding it in place, which it will probably uh, function quite fine that way. It's just not a very efficient or effective way of holding them together, and uh, as such, I'll have to change that soon. But, um, trying to think of what else to talk about on this unit itself. Uh, you can see everything is labeled, everything has uh, wire markers, everything is well put together. I think I did a pretty damn good job on this, uh, except for my breakers and fuses are not in place yet. I left myself plenty of room on the front panel here in case I would like to uh, do anything else. So any other switches, anything like that, I have plenty of space to do it. Um, my controllers are in Celsius. I'm positive there's probably a way to uh, change that on these uh, 9500s. It's a Cal Control 9500P. It is programmable, um, but I don't have the cable or the program, so I don't know how to do that. So if anybody sees this and says, hey, I know how to do that, it would be great. Uh, anyways, that's it for the night. I think that I'm going to go in. I feel pretty. Uh, I feel like I accomplished something getting those mounted in there and um, getting the power run to this unit. I will change out that input and I will also cover this wire because uh, it's really not safe to have a wire like that in the shop open. But it is inside of a metal stud so uh, I should just be able to buy a piece of channel and go from here to up there. Um, I know it looks like a mess up there. That's my paranoia. There's two pieces of cable that hold the top and then some clamps that provide strain relief. Uh, it goes all the way across the shop. It was already on top of the floor up there, this cable was. And I don't know what it ran 222 up there, but uh, it was just not needed. Where do we sit with the coffee roaster? I haven't done anything to it. I've been awfully busy. Um, I did build a trier holder. Uh, though it's still got the galvanized on it, so I'll have to uh, burn that off pretty soon. Uh, we've had some rainstorms, so I've got a little bit of rust going on. 
but if you look inside you can see how the unit functions it will turn this direction and push the copy beans forward um, that's a pretty aggressive sweep and uh, you can see the uh, what I, I call the spider in, in there is just made out of sheet metal too it's actually made out of a lid for the pot I did finally get some insulation uh, it's a high quality rock wool it's rated up to 3200 degrees Fahrenheit it's um, very good stuff I have not insulated around the heater box but I probably should I have not decided yet um, the motor I've got to do something about this motor mount this motor mount is not efficient in the least it still wobbles it still weebles um, I don't have its drive coupling on yet but um, I'll have to get that on soon in the next two or three nights I will move the control box I will move the control box over here and um, plug it in and get everything wired together and we will get to see the coffee rooster come up to temperature and everything I do not have another thermocouple yet but uh, that's easily remedied and they are not very expensive so I should have one very soon unfortunately I have some uh, projects ahead of me still uh, I have another job so You'll see less videos, but hopefully higher quality content. But uh, do me a favor, uh, leave me a like, a thumbs up, you know, and uh, subscribe. Give me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Any suggestions, any ideas to make the coffee roaster go together a little bit better. Um, understanding that I don't have access to machine tools. Every little piece that you see here, every cut is done by hand. It was a lot of work. But uh, it's kind of a proof of concept. If I can do it, you can do it. Um, so leave me a like. Uh, check out some of the videos. Um, be sure and check out the links that I'll leave up here in the right-hand corner. And uh, yeah, that's it. Good night.